GNOME 48 vs KDE Plasma 6.3 The Ultimate Linux Desktop Showdown Let's start with the introduction. GNOME 48 and KDE Plasma 6.3 represent two distinct philosophies in the Linux desktop world. GNOME prioritizes simplicity and a unified design, while KDE Plasma champions customization and flexibility. Let's break down their strengths, weaknesses, and ideal use cases. First up, visual design and workflow. GNOME 48 embraces a minimalist, macOS-like interface with a top bar and a dynamic workspaces. Apps like Files and the new Loop Image Weaver, the basic editing tool, focuses on streamlined workflows. The redesigned quick settings and well-being panel, screen time limits, health breaks, emphasis, user-centric design. Now about the KDE Plasma 6.3. It offers a Windows-like layout with traditional panels and widgets. Dolphin File Manager remains a standout featuring split views, terminal integration and superior file previews. Customize every element, themes, window decorations and widget filled desktops. Key Differences GNOME simplifies workflows for productivity. KDE caters to users who want granular control. Now about the performance and stability. GNOME 48 optimizes for speed, smoother animations and lower latency in cursor movements. System resource usage is comparable to KDE but better optimized for higher refresh monitors and older hardware. Rare crashes with updates less likely to break extensions than in earlier versions. Now KDE Plasma 6.3 Improved gaming performance, example higher FPS in titles like Apex Legends. Some users report frame drops and window management glitches after the 6.3 update, particularly on Nvidia GPUs. Heavy customization, example multiple themes, can strain resources. Now about the verdict, GNOME edges ahead for stability, while KDE excels in gaming, if your hardware avoids driver hiccups. Now about the customization and features. KDE Plasma 6.3 Unmatched flexibility Modify taskbar layouts, window rules and system tray behavior without extensions. Advanced apps like Venview which is image editing shortcuts and KRunner powerful search. Downsides Overlapping settings and unstable third-party themes can confuse newcomers. Now about the GNOME 48 Simplicity by design, fewer built-in options but integrates extensions for tiling, dashboards, etc. New battery charge limiting and piper enhancements target power users. Relies heavily on the GNOME Tweaks app for basic adjustments, example disabling hot corners. Now about the key takeaway, KDE is a tinkerer paradise, GNOME offers curated extensibility. Now, who should choose which one? Pick GNOME 48 if you value a clean, distraction-free interface. Stability and battery life are prioritizers ideal for laptops. You prefer just works apps over customization. Now choose KDE Plasma 6.3 if you want a granular control over workflows and aesthetics. Advanced file management which is Dolphin or gaming performance matters. You are willing to troubleshoot occasional bugs for flexibility. Now about the final thoughts. Both desktops have matured significantly. GNOME 48 refines its vision of simplicity with thoughtful additions like the well-being panel while KDE Plasma 6.3 doubles down on customization though at the cost of occasional instability. Try live USBs of both to see which aligns with your workflow. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.